Hello traders and welcome to the weekly outlook and setups volume 117. It's Ilya here and as always I'm super happy to have you on my channel and as you know in this video we're gonna have a look at the market, how it developed this week, what opportunities did we have and what we can potentially expect for the upcoming week. So this week is actually pretty key because we're seeing some very nice momentum and some invalidations of uh, for example on the DXY. So I do think that actually in the upcoming weeks and also in Q4 we're finally gonna have some some nice trending markets because uh, yeah as you can see just have a quick look on the DXY like since J June since the end of June July we were pretty much stuck in this range and right now I finally think we might actually be about to have some movement so definitely let's stay sharp and let's get prepared for all of those opportunities so I'm gonna analyze the market right now make sure to check my trading setups breakdown video I'm gonna leave a card this is uh, those are actually all the trades that I took this week so make sure not to miss out on them and uh, if you're new to this channel it's all about trading I share this weekly outlook and setups every Saturday and once per week I share an educational piece of content or a trade setup breakdown video so make sure you are subscribed hit the notification bell in order not to miss the content that is upcoming and before we start i want to mention that i trade some cryptos and i do it with cheddarforex.com it is an amazing broker that has amazing spreads especially in crypto uh, but if you choose their eco account you are gonna pay a little commission but every single lot that you trade goes towards planting 10 trees so i really think that is an amazing initiative and i'm supporting them on that so make sure you do as well link is down in the description and if you already did let's jump into the analysis all right let's begin with the dxy to see where we could potentially go this week so if you remember from the previous week actually for a couple of weeks past I have been telling you that we are overall in an uptrend right here. So we basically failed to make a new lower low, which is super important. We closed above this major lower high, which was supposed to be a major lower high. But after we did not create a new lower low, then it's actually not. And most of the times uh, such lower highs that do not create a lower low become invalidated. And as you can see, we have actually right now a push, pullback, higher low and a higher high. And again, my expect like my biggest question was, are we going to have a deeper pullback? Maybe let's say to some of those levels right here. Or maybe if you drop your FIP from the low to the high, we didn't even pull back to the 50%. But again, the other little detail that we have is that the market was maintaining bullish structure. So right here, we had a higher low. Then the market pushed higher high, higher low as well. Push higher high. We pulled back into this area to create a new higher low. We respected that area. And right now, actually, I do believe we are about to be headed for a new higher high. Like, look at that beautiful momentum all of the short levels were actually invalidated and i think we are actually about to target right now 93.8 let's say not to say that we might actually target for 94 which i didn't think it was possible but looking what is happening right now i do think that we might actually see this because again if you remember i had this little demand area which was also the weekly higher low formation and although that the market has changed structure like we had a push pullback higher high then the market actually broke this one so it looked like we might create something like this okay so we have a push pullback lower high and a potential lower low but we did not have this okay so uh, basically i think also the people there, there was somebody that uh, shouted head and shoulders basically this is a pretty much a retail head and shoulders uh but it doesn't always like this because when you actually combine it with the overall trend and when you see this, okay, it's a reversal formation, but the higher low was never broken. So the market just tapped into the higher low, pushed into the neckline, reacted from it a little bit, but then we just ended up pushing to the upside. So basically for me, this right now is potentially bullishness, okay? So the only level that we can see a reaction from is this, like the higher high, where the actual move started. But then again, if we drop to the four hourly time frame, um, reaction was expected from here and again if you just draw your levels from the levels that i um drew the previous week i'm not sure which one were they but yeah basically this was the major one that i was looking for the market to to pull back into we pulled back we tapped inside but we just gave a pullback and right now we are massively initiating outside so if we also focus on the four hourly time frame currently on friday we are in a massive push phase so basically what we have to do is we have to wait for a correction there is our major higher low that is formed right there we also have this one that hasn't been retested yet but that does not mean that the market has to pull back there of course uh but yes basically 
it is a little bit tricky because if you go on the daily the move let's say started from here into the highs but again even if you take the daily move this level is exactly into 50 percent of the daily move so i do think that actually this is a pretty proper place for a pullback so my plan on the dxy is to maybe see a pullback what could also happen is we might rush into the highs to find supply from this level because the market needs to pull back then we might make a little pullback to create a higher low formation and then to head higher okay the other scenario is that the market might create a high right there start pull back again create a higher low formation and then push into the highs so as you can see i am pretty much bear a bullish on the dxy because there is no um there is nothing to show me bearishness right now i still keep in mind that overall yes we might continue down because we're in a kind of a high right here we could like find something on the left and overall the dxy is in a downtrend but again even from the monthly and the weekly we're in this reversal formation so i do believe that this week we can actually target this high well maybe not this week but this high is gonna get taken pretty much soon so let's see expecting a pullback on the dxy to some of those levels and then potentially looking to strike for longs which means shorts on the other usd pairs let's have a look at euro usd as you can see we pretty much have the same situation and even much better if i take my brush so you can see we created a beautiful high right there that started from here okay so this is a push we expect the pullback the market created a higher low absolutely beautiful what is the next area that we should target it's this high but the market pushes up and then creates what does it create the mss formation this is what i teach in my free market structure course so make sure you check that out it's in the description and uh, yeah then basically we had a lower high instead of a higher high and then this as i told you on the dxy becomes a low a higher low that is going to get invalidated and basically we had a lower low right there so my overall bias on the weekly for eu has been bearish okay the only question was, are we going to have a push right there and a deeper pullback into some of those higher levels before we actually continue down? But it looks like this is not the case, because if we zoom in, we started forming some new structure. Again, we had this little lower high push, lower high push, lower low, lower high that actually came all the way up to react from the highest point right here of this week. But we actually, yeah, just wicked a little bit above it it's just by a little and right now potentially we are headed lower and potentially about to make a new lower low target the recent lows and then potentially the next target will be this one so 16 point uh yeah 1600s and then potentially i do expect the market to even fall to 1.14 if the dxy is also gonna rush to the upside then this one should fall right here which is basically gonna be a monthly correction because on the monthly we have this push to the upside so the market pulled back really deeply and right now we have another push to the upside which is right here which basically as well failed to make a new high but still what we could expect is that the market is going to pull back a little bit maybe below 50 percent find support from somewhere and then potentially continue with this overall trend to the upside so that is the plan but currently for us intraday traders or personally me uh, we are looking for shorts okay daily time frame actually the last two days were extremely bearish which is really nice uh, but it's not really nice for me because i didn't capitalize on those sales so pretty sad about that but then again, if we spot where the action move started, it's this daily. So this is our daily lower high dropping onto the flow hourly. We also have a new one. So basically there is our new lower high on the flow hourly as well. And uh, yeah, basically pretty much those are your two levels for sales. Right now the market is in the push phase. So what we can expect is we should find where potentially the market can react from. Well, we have this very strong demand slash support so what could happen again is something pretty similar to the dxy we can maybe find support from here then initiate the pullback form another lower high break retest and then we can target the new lows and also those lows at 1600s okay very simply this is my plan on eu i do believe right now we are going bearish and basically guys all of those levels that you spot right here they are just reaction points okay because you can see yes we had the support right there but the market just reacted and then flushed we had support there the market just reacted and flushed we had support here reacted flush so we have support here it's gonna react and then flush again okay so basically we're pretty much right now in a bearish trend so don't try too hard to long this pair until we actually see a clear break of full hourly structure. Because again, if you have a look at it since here, there was a lovely short I took right there. I wish I held it. This is something that I want to train myself to do. Since there, lower high, lower high, lower high, lower high, lower high. Okay, and a new one is expected. So let's see how we can get in in this one. And uh, personally, I'm going to be looking for the pullback. Maybe take some longs if we see the confirmation on the lower time frame. But pretty much I will be looking for a pullback, lower 
high formation and selling the market. So make sure that you tune in on my Tuesday analysis on Telegram so that we can see some fresh levels and some fresh opportunities. Let's have a look at EJ, but looking at how EU is developing right now, we can see the selling pressure is already starting to kick in in EJ as well. But again, this pair is directly linked to USDJPY and it's going to be a little bit too hard to actually push down. But overall, again, I feel free to, yeah, to determine a bearish bias on this one. But again, even from the daily, it's not really bearish because, yeah, it's not really clear. But if you have a look, this is a really major kind of lower high, even on the weekly. And on the daily, it looks like we closed above it. On the weekly, we just wicked above it, but on the daily, we have actually closed above it. And what does that mean is that we have a reversal pattern. So we have a push, pullback, and potentially to continue higher. But just looking at like correlation and overall sentiments of the euro, I don't think that is actually completely possible. I think we could maybe find some support from here, very similarly to the to euro USD. But just have a look at this one, guys. Okay, it's absolutely bearish right now and what did i tell you about those uh, reaction areas let me try this highlight it there we have a support the market just reacted there we have a support little reaction support right there little reaction right there well yeah this is not pretty much linked and right now little support there reaction but it just keeps reacting and never actually continues to break so again uh very bearish trend since here we created the mss formation push pullback lower high push pullback lower high right there this was actually a pretty nice equal lower high a very nice place to sell not sure if i called it actually this one and then we push into the lows okay so basically our major lower high is this one uh, this one is not yet major and actually if you actually have a look right here we had a little lower high and right now we it looks like we're in a little bit of a reversal pattern right there but again i would expect the bullish pullback on eu as well so what we could have is maybe something like this then we can pull back like that and then we can flush okay so ej is not a pair that i like trading right now simply because of usd jpy as well and just because it's a cross pair and i don't like crosses i prefer to stay to the majors uh, but yes, very tricky situation because again, we have a break of this full hourly level. Uh, I will be watching out how the market is going to react maybe at this support right here. So let's see how it taps. Maybe if we have a reversal formation on the lower time frame, we can take a long then into this area. And then from there, I'm definitely going to be looking for the shorts. But again, and then if the market actually breaks this structure to the downside, then what this is going to do, it's going to make this the major lower high and then what we have to do is again wait for the market to pull back towards it and then take a sell again okay so there are your two scenarios on euro jpy let's see how it's gonna play but overall as well looking for sales aussie dollar i was pretty happy about this one because it definitely looked like a reversal again weekly break of structure just right there we were coming from a very strong weekly demand that actually made this big car high we tapped inside we broke structure and right now the biggest question is again because dxy is rocketing euro, euro is falling as well and this one is also falling right now so the bigger question is are we really bullish okay from the low to the high on the weekly time frame, we are already below 50%. So for me, this is already starting to build up for a potential long opportunity. But then dropping onto the daily, <clears throat> again, daily looks really nice. Again, we have a similar formation right there to the to EJ that I showed you. We have a lower high. This lower high is beautifully broken. And right now we are in a potential correction. Okay. So again, the level that makes sense a lot to me is this one that we're just tapping inside. And this is a daily level. Okay. So make sure to bark it as a daily and we are just tapping inside. So that is a pretty, pretty, pretty key uh, for Aussie dollar because again, we have a, if you have a look at the candles to the upside, they are much long bodied, much stronger than the candles that we're having right now to the downside. Okay. My team has been milking shorts all the way down right now, uh, but let's see how we're actually going to respond from some of those levels. So I can see that we have a pretty nice level right here. So Aussie USD is in a very key area right now but my biggest tip for you is until the structure changes you do not go long okay because since since we changed right here um right here we had a little bit of a change but then the market broke down so then we had a lower high lower high right there lower high right there okay we are perfectly moving down so there is no need to change and again where is our lower high right now well it is this one there is our lower high maybe we should change the color there we go. There is our lower high. So again, as long as the market stays below this one, I am bearish. Okay. So what we could have is we could have the market tap inside, pull back, react from this one. But then if it fails to make a new low, which is basically your MSS formation right there, 
this is when I might start focusing on longs, but then if we actually break this one, that is when we can unlock a new uptrend, okay? So uh, let's see how this one is gonna play. It's pretty, 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 pretty key situation right here because all the confluences are lining for a potential hard time frame long. All we need to do is just wait for a change of trend because even if you look on the hourly time frame, as I told you, the only time that we shifted is right there, but we immediately broke down. So if you maybe try to long right there, you should have immediately turned into shorts and tried to capitalize on the lower high, lower high right there, lower high right there. Okay, so right now, as I told you, I would love to see a clear reversal, some clear introduction of buyers before I really start taking any trades to the upside. Okay, so overall, short bias on Aussie, but very key situation that we have to monitor in the upcoming week. So let's see. And as well, uh, Aussie JPY is pretty much the same situation. If I just drop the FIP from the low to the high, we are dipping below the 50%. We also have such a level right there in the middle. I have to change the color right now to blue. And uh, I don't like this blue. Maybe do it like this. Okay, cool. And uh, yeah, I'm currently tapping inside right there. So potentially we can expect a higher high. Again, the candles to the upside are much bigger than the candles to the downside. So let's see. Full hourly time frame, absolutely bearish. Okay, nothing to show us bullishness yet. Um, basically, this one right there is a super strong area that we failed to pull back into, but we kind of consolidated. We had a little push up, and right now we're headed down. So again, if this one makes a new lower low, so if this one breaks this structure, then this is gonna become the major lower high. And then again, what did I tell you? What we're waiting for is for a shift of structure and then a potential continuation up. So on the four hourly, if you do not have a break, do not look to go long. So that would be my biggest tip because uh, again, this is counter trend trading and sometimes you really try to catch the bottom before it's actually ready. So wait for the market to reverse, wait to show you the long signal. And let's say that you try to get in right here from the bottom, but you don't get the setup and the market starts to explode. Then you break structure. You have a little demand right there. You push, you pull back. There it is. There is your move. Like, why do you have to rush in? Even if the market reverses, you're going to have a pullback and you're going to catch it again. Okay. So let's see. Aussie JPO, uh, the Aussies are overall bearish, but again, very key areas to potentially start looking for longs. So let's see how this week is going to enroll. Enroll. That's not the word. Um, yeah, I forgot the word what I, that I want to say. But yeah, let's just see what happens. And again, make sure to stay tuned for the Tuesday analysis where we're going to have a look again. The NZDs are also in a pretty tricky situation because those actually haven't really pulled back towards those levels right here. And as you can see, pretty much on the weekly time frame, we are again in a downtrend. We broke the low. We made the MSS. We made a lower low. Right now, we potentially could, this could actually be a lower high in order to head down. So again, always second second guess. Even if you just watched the Aussie dollar and I told you that we're in a long scenario, it could just be a lower high and maybe a trick for us to say, okay, that there is the break of structure. So let's start right now looking for longs, okay? So always be prepared and just always trade with a trend. As I told you, if the full hour is bearish, you keep taking shorts, okay? And yeah, maybe just let's stop by at the daily first. So this is the weekly range from the low to the high right there. We made the high. We also broke structure and we reacted from this sort of level right there. We just kissed inside and we're already starting to react. And right now, again, we have, uh, I would love to see this level get tapped, which we have a little bit more space to the downside. So this is our daily level and then dropping onto the four hourly time frame. Wow. This actually looks like pretty nice shorts right there. I'm, I'm not really looking into that pair at all. But look at those shorts right there. So since we made this high, then we tried to find uh, support, but we really failed. Then there is a pullback into the, that lower high, push lower low, pullback lower high, and then we had a sell. Okay. If you maybe drop to the hourly, we can examine how it goes. Yeah, look at that manipulative move right there into the highs. So it stacked all of that consolidation, manipulation up, down, pullback, boom. Very, very, very nice setup right there. But again, let's get to, to the analysis. I, uh, currently, we're having this as our lower high. Why? Because this is the high that made the low. So basically this is our lower low. There is our lower high. And my plan is very simple. Pull back, lower high, short into the lows. Okay. So it's slightly different than the Aussies because the Aussies are actually already in those levels that we look for longs. Okay. Uh, but this one still has some time to go. And again, on the four hourly, it's bearish. So until it's bearish, I keep shorting. Okay. So very simple on this one downtrend from the upside this is all you need to see so therefore let's keep shorting into that level and then from there we can see if we can readjust something and nzd jpy is going to be exact well, those are so much the same it's like i'm analyzing the same pair there there is your level 
there is your daily zone at the 50%. Currently on the flowerly, we are bearish again, remember? We have a break of structure right there. Well, not really. I would have really loved to actually have a top of this level because it looks pretty strong. But right now we also have this one. So yeah, I'm gonna keep shorting this pair. So if we don't react from this one and if we come inside this one, I'm gonna also look for shorts towards that level because I do think that this is where we should be pulling back, okay? Uh, but yeah, also short bias on JPY. it looks a little bit sloppy than NU, so I would say focus on NU and avoid the JPYs just because of UJ, which is still in an overall range, okay? So that is my outlook on the NZDs, overall bearish bias, similar to the Aussies, so let's see. Guess what guys, An another consolidation week on USDJPY, but we pretty much had some movements this week, we had a big wick to the downside and we again closed of course inside the range. Uh, but that is actually good because we spiked below all of these lows, all of that mess, and we actually even, yeah, I'm not really sure, but it looks like we've just faked a little bit below this low. So also looking at the DXY pumping up, I do think that UJ should also start following up to the upside, but as you can see, yeah. So all of these right here, all of that trend line and all of that stuff, all of this consolidation has been taken down with this big quick. And as you can see right now, we are starting to initiate orders to the upside. Okay, so that is really good to see, but again, it is not yet ready. Okay, so let's see right now that this, this right now is our lower high, and it's a pretty major lower high. Why? Because it made a big low, okay? Uh, but we manipulated below all of these lows right there, and if you have a look also on the left, uh, this is why I told you, I think, previous week or a couple of weeks before, we had this high, okay? This high was broken from this low. This low was already retested by this one, so we should be looking for a new hard high. Okay, but it's just been such a long time right here. And what we could have right now is a manipulation down and right now we can have the hard high. Okay, little food for thought right there. And I do think that this could actually happen seeing how the DXY is starting to rocket to the upside. So what we could expect right now is maybe a little reaction to the downside. And then if we have a high right here, then definitely we should start looking for longs. Okay, so UJ still monitor it for a little bit don't rush to to short or long this one but yeah if you're trading this intraday perfectly fine uh but for me i'm looking for a clear direction on this one and i do think that we might actually finally start to pump up so let's see but first of all i need a hard high which we do not have yet and currently we're respecting the lower high but i would expect a reaction from this one and if we fail to make a new low so basically if we create a shift right here then this is when i'm gonna start looking for the longs okay so maybe if you also try to forecast that move i would say drop your range if you think that this move is the reversal move let's wait for the market to tap below 50 percent somewhere right here and then potentially see if we can actually see some reversal patterns okay so that is my view on uj starting to feel a little bit like longs but again it's not certain yet and it's too short so let's wait for a good confirmation before striking all right, let's have a look at the GBP starting from GU. So basically this pair is a little bit tricky right now because if you remember, I told you that we also had a break of structure on the daily and actually the market created a higher low right there on the daily and we expected a higher high, but it looks like the market is failing to make this one. And we are like, we created a wick right there then we created indecision, then we faked above both weekly highs this week and right now we're headed to the downside as well so also looking at the dxy also looking at eu we might actually be about to reverse on this one but again it's maybe too early to tell uh but yeah basically the thing that i told you is that we had this break and this is the break of the major lower high so we pulled back we created a higher low cool but again we should be expecting a higher high and if we cannot sustain this then we're potentially about to go down and again, as you can see, we're pretty much, again, if you just zoom out a little bit, we're pretty much in this little range, okay? GU is usually trending, like, look at that, like, then we have a little range, then we start trending again, but for quite some time, we have been ranging right here. So again, if we just zoom out, you can see that we have an overall uptrend, so is it, is it possible that we have an uptrend, distribution, and a downtrend? This is also something that could happen, but again... We are intraday traders, but of course we have to be aware of the macro as well. So let's try to zoom in on the four hourly right now. So there is your high right here. That was a great manipulation into the highs, tapped into something on the left. And uh, then we actually kind of broke on the lower time frame. We broke this, this low right there, pushed to the downside. This looks like a lower high, a lower low. Then we have the lower high, lower low again. So as you can see, the four hourly is already in a downtrend. So we have two lower lows. 
and right now i do think the market is starting targeting this low and then if this low breaks then we're potentially even about to head lower and then again uh, what i'm gonna tell you if we're actually in such a reversal phase then all of those uh, <clears throat> supportive levels that you see on the left are just gonna be reactions so if we tap inside this one we're gonna have a lower high down if you tap this one we're gonna have a lower high and down again so kind of starting to feel a little bit bearish on gu as well and overall we're having a low right now we have to find where is our lower high there it is so basically what is the plan is to have a pullback so again very bearish candle on the weekly we should expect some sort of a pullback maybe first we're gonna fake below this low and maybe first we're gonna tap into this because this is a pretty nice demand right there and in order for the market to pull back it also needs some orders right so we might have maybe something like this then a pullback and then the reversal down okay or if it doesn't do that maybe we're gonna start immediately with the pullback and then we can have a beautiful sell okay so overall looking for shorts just looking at the most recent structure it looks for shorts and even from the higher time frame seeing that failure to continue higher i do think right now that this is gonna actually get broken because remember if a low does not make a higher high it usually gets broken okay so i'm kind of not really convinced to start calling shorts on gu but this is what i currently see so therefore next week if we have a nice pullback lower high formation then we can definitely start looking for the shorts gj as well we had this massive pump into the highs again to kind of, it's kind of a manipulation why because we had a move up and then boom a big move down that also closed below oops closed below some very nice oh, come on man some very nice major structure which is this one and also if you have a look higher this is also major because it made a hard high and also this is also major because it made a hard high so we just violated all of those structural levels we already made a little bit of a pullback that is already on the move towards creating a new lower low okay so let's see if we're actually gonna have a new low right here uh, looking at uj we saw that uj might actually potentially start heading higher so this is gonna make it too difficult for gj uh, to push lower so let's see okay let's see how this one is gonna go but overall currently push to the downside pullback is this a lower high it's not yet because it hasn't made a lower low so maybe we can have something like this or if it doesn't first make a lower low then we can have a little pullback not this one we can have a little pullback right there to potentially look for the shorts again and try to short it okay because currently this is showing me some bearishness if i look on the daily uh the daily never actually broke structure up so although we created this big low this big low never broke the high which was this high that actually made the low then we consolidated then we pushed lower and although this pushed lower never broke the low it also never made a high okay so basically pretty much on on gj we are bearish and the market just tapped into a daily zone which is this one and i do think maybe we're actually about to head lower on gj as well so having all of those um kind of analysis and all of that uh, macro perspective in mind again i do think that gj is gonna go down so let's focus on shorts and again make sure to follow your setup for that ga this is my favorite pair as you know uh currently ranging so nothing too much weekly time frame overall to the upside we had a massive drop right now we're pulling back and again i really hate this pair i've never traded this pair and i'm actually never looking at it uh but uh yeah it pushed down looks like a break even on the weekly looks like a break but we just pull back right now we're headed higher so again this one it's very difficult to to actually figure out where it wants to go if i maybe invert the charts it looks like longs because you can see like we have a consolidation push down push back up and it looks like one of the scenarios that we have with the other pairs we have a push right now pulling back looks like the aussie okay so basically this one is pretty much uh correlated to the aussie so if the aussie actually finds support from that level then this one is also gonna go down but if it doesn't this one is gonna continue going up there is your current demand area that made a hard high so basically a setup could be this one for longs or if actually the market gives you a short right there make sure to go for it but yeah i don't like this pair at all and i'm never trading it so i actually do not have any expertise in it but of course you guys are trading it so i want to share my thoughts on it but again watch out for this level watch out all the usd how it's going to develop and then just flow with the overall markets okay hourly time frame complete consolidation so nothing too interesting on this one and nothing too interesting on your gbp as well so my overall analysis is was to actually see some sort of a break and retest to the upside but yeah we just ranged range range we pushed up cool maybe a reversal but then we pushed down fake the lows and right now we're just in the middle so 
yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know, it's just ranging right there. So again, same analysis remains. We have this daily pump to the upside. We have this pullback into 50%. Uh, we're starting to have some ranges. The market tries to push but fails. We fake below the lows again. So if I really want to take a long, I would love to see a close above this structure right there and then to potentially strike. Okay. On the hourly time frame, we have some signs because, as, because again, if this is our lower high that made a lower low, it was broken. Cool. So uh, we should be looking at this uh, demand level right now. So maybe we can pull back into it. And then if we have a reversal pattern, we can look for the longs. But for me, this will be the highest probability area to break before actually engaging in any longs. Okay, so let's see. This is my outlook on EuroGBP. Overall looks longs, which uh, means shorts for, for the GU, which is pretty much what we look like. So things are starting to align a little bit, but again, I really think actually Q4 is going to bring in the volume. So stay focused. And uh, yes, this is my outlook for the GBPs. I'm also curious to hear yours in the comments. Bearish week on gold. And again, this is the perfect pattern that I've been telling you about. We're having a massive bearish engulfing candle and then we have a 50% pullback into the engulf that basically creates a lower high on a lower time frame. And then we just move to the downside. So currently the market is reacting from this little slowdown in price. This is basically a rally um, based rally. So this is kind of a supply and demand technique and we're currently reacting from it. But if you have a look like in terms of breaks of the highs, I don't think this is a lot of bullish currently because we actually failed to close above that high. And this one right, this low right there and then is not, it's not major because it didn't make a high. And then we kind of corrective, corrective, corrective. We broke down, we pull back lower high, boom lower low so basically what we have right now is a new major lower high okay so basically if i change the color there we go so what we could expect on gold is maybe for a little pullback and then another drop because again dxy is starting to rocket to the upside it it, it looks pretty nice um, maybe money is moving into dxy i heard that uh also, the euro is not looking pretty good and people, investors are positioning themselves with the USD, which is also related to gold because gold is comparing with the USD. And if the USD is rising, then gold is falling, right? So therefore, having an overall bearish outlook on gold, but as well, currently we are extended to the downside. So I would love to have a little bit of a pullback before actually reversing down. But, but is uh, 1800 possible for a pullback or is it going to be a little bit lower? Well, for me, anything above 50% is welcome. So currently we are below. So if we just tap above the 50%, then maybe even this, uh, this structural support will actually help. Okay, so that is my outlook on gold, overall bearish, but looking for a pullback. So let's see how that's going to go. Amazing opportunities are starting to kick in on the indices and also on some stocks as well. So monitor, we're having uh, some blue chip stocks actually falling and I'm already putting money into them. Uh, but basically, US 30 remains that uh, bearish trend. So since we made this low, we pulled back, we created a range, we failed to make a new high and we are actually right now breaking the low, which is pretty bearish. OK, uh, but right now we're coming to actually tap into this level that I was looking for it to tap for. <clears throat> a couple of months okay so basically i am looking to invest right now because we're having an overall correction and it's not really it looks more like a downtrend because you can see pretty much we're always having a very sharp dip like you can see from here we had a five percent dip from here we had a quick five percent dip from here another yeah four percent dip but right now we had a little dip right here but it didn't sustain and right now we're just moving down in the downtrend okay <clears throat> so definitely looks like a reversal, but let's see how it's going to go. But of course, if you're dollar cost averaging, make sure to put some money in and then just monitor how it's going to go. Uh, also, Nasdaq, it definitely looks like a reversal right now. Like we tapped into this demand, tapped once, twice, three times, failed to reverse, never broke a lower high. And right now we're headed lower. OK, so does that mean that we're going to head even much lower? towards like 50% because if this is our major low, there is our high. I'm definitely looking forward for this one to also give us a little bit of a correction because it looks so extended right now. So definitely um, more short bias than long bias on NASDAQ, but be careful shorting those things because they usually move to the upside. But right now it's been down for quite some time and failing to break the highs. So definitely any pullback right here is welcome for a new short. Okay. 
and my favorite index uh, i'm just gonna put money into it next week beginning because currently it is down very nice i also have a little alert right there and this is a level that i've been looking for quite some time to get tapped and again you can see pretty similarly this one gives us a dip right there 10th of may five percent little dip right there three percent dip 4% we had one right here of like 3% and right now I think it's actually pretty good almost reaching the 3% so I th I'm going to be putting some money in right here and of course if the market enters a downtrend I'm going to be putting more 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 because eventually this one is going to recover and if you zoom in basically we are in a beautiful uptrend since the corona crisis right there <clears throat> we pretty much recovered and we returned much more so lovely opportunity right there make sure to watch out how this zone will get respected but of course i think this is an amazing opportunity uh, for buys but i don't mean just go long right there with 10 lots or something just buy the stock okay and uh, yeah basically pretty much that's on the indices uh bitcoin is breaking we reached around 53 or yeah 52 almost 53 i think yeah but uh, this supply was invalidated so we made a new high to pull back i was looking for to drop around 42k but right now it looks like on the quality time frame after this flash crash right there we're just accumulated inside the range i was really looking to actually get as low as possible to that wick but overall we are starting to break structure right now to the upside and even we had a little correction and a push back up so i'm not a crypto expert i'm just buying low and selling high pretty simple not using too much technical stuff and lower time frames but again for me this one is a little bit too high so i would love to see a little bit of a drop <clears throat> and then to potentially buy and of course i would even love again to see that 42 because i think those are some very great areas to be looking for longs and ethereum as well uh, i'm still looking for 3k i really wanted to buy that one at 3k uh, because i took majority of my profits right there and moved up then we pulled back so i didn't want to buy again right here where i took my profit so really looking forward to see it a little bit lower maybe but is that really possible well i don't know because right now we actually broke above structure similarly to bitcoin and uh, yes therefore we created a new range from the low to the high and we also did below 50 percent so this one is looking pretty much like longs okay uh, on ethereum but again i don't feel like uh, <clears throat> striking from exactly from this level so personally i'm just with indices with stocks and with cryptos i'm just buying them on dips and this for me is not a nice dip so therefore i'm going to be waiting for a little pullback into this region maybe and then to potentially look to stack in some but currently there is a golden opportunity across stocks and uh indices so i'm focused on there and crypto can maybe wait for a little bit okay so guys this is how i'm gonna wrap up this analysis i hope you managed to find something valuable if you did make sure to hit the like button and leave a little comment because i always love seeing your comments also, I plan to do a giveaway because we tapped 40k subscribers, which I'm super grateful for all of you guys commenting, subscribing and um, supporting me on creating this content. So I'm going to make sure to think of something to give away uh, because I feel more obliged to actually give away to you guys for all the support. So make sure to actually let me know if you would love to have this. OK, so I wish you an amazing weekend. Make sure that you prepare well and I wish you a crushing week ahead of you.